don't know if you can really see it or not. There's a bunch of fish in there eating. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, you know, feeding time. They come around. Actually, they're in there all the time, but you want to see them. You put some food in there and get some action. It's been a while since I've done an update. I think you can see the, the top of this pond is pretty much covered in this uh, water lettuce. The hyacinth, they're doing pretty good. They're really healthy. They're just not reproducing as much as this little water lettuce is. Um, I think the reason this kind of sprouted out is because I, I don't have enough up in the top here, plants, to support this, uh, this huge amount of uh, water and fish waste. So uh, when all the nitrogen gets broken down, plants need to grow, and thank God it's these guys instead of the algae. Uh, the water lettuce is doing a couple things. Being this thick, it's uh, keeping a lot of sunlight out of the water, along with this shade structure I got going. But um, that, that, uh, it's, it's helping suck up a lot of the nutrients that are missing. This top bacteria filter broke down while I was in Michigan and uh, wasn't able to keep water moving. Some of the plants responded pretty well to it. These pepper plants right here, they're already going to go flower. That was happening when I, uh, when I got back, so pretty soon we'll get some peppers out of here. Uh, everything that was growing up here in the grow bed is doing great. The sugar snap peas are, uh, are the problem. If you remember a video where I was down here saying how things cling on to life, well, that's pretty dried up and kind of not looking so good, but uh, I don't care. I'm not going to kill it because there's hope still. Up here in the top part, we have a little more water. Um, there's smaller containers. It's not as much of that. I, I, something happened with the, because my roommate did fill it up a couple times. It dried out pretty good, and it's but it's responding faster. And if you look at the end of this dried up piece of something, we're looking at a lot of green growth on the top and a new pea about to start. So that flower right there, that's, that's going to be a pea. So I'm not giving up on that other guy yet because I'm kind of fond of it. But yeah, you know, some things work well and others don't when there's a problem. We've got the problem up here fixed. I'm in the process of moving and the water's going to flow even better now that I know what I'm doing when I set the damn thing up. So, um, I don't know, my friend Christine came over. She loved this about these plants. They, uh, the water just kind of pools up on top of them and then uh, just rolls right off. So, I don't know, it's just kind of neat. They're cool little plants and the fish love to eat their roots. And I don't know, I'm glad that there was an explosion of growth. One, less algae. And uh, two, they're kind of cool plants. So... And the reason that all kept going is because of this bacteria filter here. So the ammonia from the fish goes through the pumps and ends up in this thing. I think you'll remember. Um, there's our little froggy guy, if you like. Keep him around. Um, but yeah, with the size of this system, with the water and the amount of fish I have, I need a lot more plants. And uh, I'm, I'm getting around to it. I, I, I'm moving into another place. And Anyway, that's where we are with it right now. Uh, everything's running great. I don't know if you can see... Hopefully you can see in here, there's a whole bunch of, I don't think you're going to be able to, um, 